Hello, my crafty friends. It's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations, and just showing you some of the supplies I'm going to use for the card today. Those are the ink colors that I have opted to go with. Recently, for the Countdown to Christmas card series, we had the theme of Joseph's coat, and while I was doing that project, I was thinking this would make a great fall leaves card. So since we're coming up on Thanksgiving and those, I thought I would... Um, give it a try to see how it would work. So I am taking squeeze lemonade, um, carved pumpkin. I, this is um, crackling campfire, I believe, and then uh, rustic wilderness. And I am just making a hot mess. I mean, this looks awful. So I'm just doing some splotches, filling them in a little bit. And then I am going to take, I have some textured old stamp sets from Stampin' Up! And I have one that's kind of a waffle look. Now what I will say is I had to redo this. So make sure your Distress Oxide are dry before you try to heat emboss because it just becomes a completely coated hot mess if you don't. So off screen I heat set this until I made sure that when I tested it with pouring some embossing powder over it, it did not stick anywhere. So now I am stamping with Versamark ink using this random waffly looking stamp set from a retired stamping up set. And then I am going to coat this with clear embossing powder and heat set that until it's smooth and melted. And then I will repeat that process where there's some missing spaces. If I was to do this again, I recently just bought a textured or a, a text background stamp. I think I would do that instead. It's like friendship words. I would do this, that way I had a little more space for the brown ink that I'm gonna coat this with to kind of cover. I think I used too much embossing and didn't leave enough space but it worked out in the end because I'm die cutting these so the hot mess that it is is not going to matter in the end it's going to make perfectly looking fall leaves so now I am taking um I'm not sure if this is vintage photo it's just a brown distress oxide from my stash and just completely coating this and again when you start this process you're like oh boy is this a hot mess but just keep going. Like I said, if this was going to be a full panel, I would have done it differently. But this, like I said, I'm going to die cut it. So it is going to work out great. The dies that I have are over to the right. They are these leaf dies, leaf dies, well, difficult to say, um, from Brutus Monroe. It was from a kit way back. So I'm just going to arrange these, fuss with them to try to get as many as I can onto this one panel because some of these leaves are pretty large. And then I will run this through my die cutting machine and have these wonderful pile of leaves. And then I took a piece of pattern paper, which again is from Brutus Monroe. I don't know if any of these are available any longer, but this was one of the wood collections. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I'm just trying to get the layout the way that I want it to be. And I kept fussing and trying to figure it out. And then sometimes I just have to say, glue one down and you will figure it out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take this far left leaf and I'm just going to glue it down. And then I opt to lay them all in a row at the bottom. So the left and the right leaf, I'm going to glue down flat using some liquid adhesive. And then that little roundish looking leaf, I am going to pop up using some foam squares so that it has a little dimension and but that's going to go in the center and then my extra leaf that I have I am going to adhere that to the inside of my card so I absolutely love how that layout ended up looking so so now I'm going to take and I had a little strip of that pattern paper left over so I'm going to glue that strip into the inside of my card and put the leaf right on top of it so that gives my inside of the card a little something. I don't typically put things in there, um, but when I have extra pieces like this, I definitely wouldn't want just this one random leaf hanging around. So might as well put it to good use and put it in the, in the middle of my card. So now I'm just gonna trim off the excess piece of that pattern paper strip. And then from this stamp set from Brutus Monroe, I am going to take this 
I think it says Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving sentiment. And I am going to center it on this panel, put it in my mini Misty, and I am going to heat emboss this with using some Versamark ink to stamp it down. And then I will coat it with Brutus Monroe gilded embossing powder. I did remember to treat it with my anti-static powder tool because it is a glossy paper that I am stamping on. And sometimes that is easy to get uh, fingerprints all over. Um, but the embossing powder went on nicely and I didn't have any extra, you know, I didn't have a real big mess when I, when I was working with it. So just flick that off, make sure I didn't have any that I didn't want anywhere, put the rest back in the jar, and then I'm going to heat set this till it's smooth and melted and metallic embossing powder, one of my absolute favorite things. And then once I have that done, I am just going to adhere this to my card front or my card panel, my card base, my goodness, <laughs> with some liquid glue, center that in there. And that will complete the project for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them for me down below. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.